We all know someone with at least one or two of these essential styling items, and the best part is that they work beautifully as an addition to any food, beauty, beverage, or product photo. You guessed it, we're talking all about hands today. We'll go over how you can use your hands or someone else's for an extra dose of simple styling to create gorgeous photos of your food. Hey guys, Tawny of Replica Surfaces here. Don't mind me with my hands in the air, Ricky Bobby style. I just don't know what to do with my hands yet. Because here are some simple tips for including your hands in food photos. In this video, I'll touch on the concept of implied movement. I'll show you how a touch of humanity can breathe new life into your food photos, plus different ways you can include a hand in your photos using different actions. Let's get to it. Let's get this nitty gritty vocabulary lesson out of the way first. What is implied movement in photography and how can you make it happen in your own photos? A photograph is a still frame of a moment in time. So although a photograph can't show motion in the same way a video can, there's still a way to create or imply movement in a photograph to add loads of visual interest to your images. A huge reason for using your hands in your food photos is to easily add this element of movement and there are so many ways to use your hands to do so. Think about all the different ways that you can hold, grab, drop, pour, cheers, and I'll show you one of my favorite Inception-like shots using a photo of a photo being taken. The first photo I want to show you is the classic cheers, or the clinking of the glasses in the form of this awesome shot from Mindbrew Media. This photo could have easily been the two glasses styled nicely on some cool coasters, but instead, the level of fun automatically increases when you add the cheerful visual by adding the implied movement from the hands coming together and the liquid sloshing around. My favorite. The next photo I want to show you is what I am dubbing the drop. And there will be no microphones harmed in this example, simply tortilla strips. Check out this salad shot from Beatbox Portraits and compare it to the same photo, but without the hand dropping the tortilla strips. While there's nothing wrong with a yummy pair of salads all on their own, the drop adds movement and such a fun dynamic to this shot. Next up, we have the grab, the snatch, or whatever you want to call this one. It's the way that you can easily create a scene around your subject to make it so appealing that hands cannot be kept away. Let's talk about this adorable little biscuit thief in the form of this breakfast spread from Little Chef Within. I love how simple this breakfast scene is, from the scrambled eggs to the bowls of fresh berries, and how could I forget this perfect smear of jam across the biscuit in the center. I don't know about you, but my eye is drawn into the lovely texture of the jam on the biscuit, the soft shadows, and the not so sneaky biscuit thief. I don't blame you, my friend. I'd snatch one of those biscuits too, given the chance. <laughs> Speaking of delicious, another hand trick that you can use is the hold. Here's another shot from Beatbox Portraits featuring a chocolatey triple decker s'mores, and it's what campfire fantasies are made of, to be honest. This works well for just about everything. The hold works well when you're trying to get messy because it's real. We get messy when we eat in real life, so why shouldn't we get a little messy in our photos? To create a photo like this, you'll want to position your camera on a tripod and frame your scene through the lens of your camera so that you have enough room to pick up the subject slightly and to add some drizzle if you want. Set a self timer to give yourself enough time to get into position. Alternatively, you could ask a friend to be your hand model slash drizzle assistant and reward them with some delicious goodies to say thanks. We cannot talk about hands and photos without talking about the king of them all, the poor shot. You've heard of them. You've likely seen them in the VIP group. Maybe you've got one of your own. But the pour shot is what dreams are made of. The first pour shot I want to show you is from our friends Tell the Birds. The hand pouring the compote in this photo does a fantastic job of leading your eye directly to the main cream puff subject and just look at that perfect little drop in midair. Just marvelous. You can never go wrong with a pour shot, especially with desserts or beverages. Speaking of beverages, you can take a great pour shot from eye level and that's typically expected, but do you want to take it to the next level? Shoot your pour from above like Beatbox Portraits did in this coffee shot. The contrast between the dark, broody cups of coffee combined with the light flow of the creamer creates an instant visual dynamic and the swirls add a dreamy element to this overall dark and moody scene. Are you ready for the wild card? The photo inception? Basically, you need two cameras and one should be a phone in order to capture this photo of a photo being taken on a phone. Are you still with me? What I love about these types of shots is the depth between the crystal clear image that comes up on the phone camera screen and the beautiful blur created from the actual scene behind 
behind it. These inception shots are a fun way to show off your scene in a different way than your audience may be used to seeing, and they will love the fresh perspective. There you have it. We have cheersing, dropping, grabbing, holding, pouring, and our bonus hand featuring trick, the phone inception shot. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Leave us a comment below if you want to see a video about using your hands for product photography and what kind of products you want to see us cover. We love hearing from you guys and we love seeing the awesome photos that you create. If you like sharing your photos and if you like free surfaces, be sure to head over to our VIP group on Facebook to join our monthly photo challenge. I'll see you here next time.